What's up, what's going on legends? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the AUG from Cold War here in Warzone Season 2. This thing is currently broken, it's overpowered, it's definitely the meta. If you guys aren't using it right now, you're definitely making a mistake just because of the fact it's gonna get a nerf in the future. So you might as well utilize it while you can. There's a ton of people out there using it. It's probably something you've been melted by continuously as of right now. And the class that are below that I'm gonna share with you guys today is absolutely disgusting. And in order for you guys to kind of understand just how good the AUG actually is, we're going to compare it to the FFAR a little bit. Although they're good at different things, I think it gives us a really good idea of just how well the AUG is performing currently. It's overpowered, it's broken, like I said, it's definitely the meta. You guys are definitely not going to want to miss out on running this thing. So before we jump into the rest of the video, if you guys do enjoy this content anytime or find this video helpful in any way, make sure you show your support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. Let's go ahead and throw an easy goal of 30 likes on today's video, as well as if you guys want to find your way back to the channel for more Cold War or Warzone content, make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button, also that notification bell so we don't miss you in future videos. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about how we, this compares to the FFAR. And to do that, let's do a little bit of a comparison on base variants, just so you guys get an idea. So for the FFAR, it has a, you know, obvious first range of zero to 36 meters. And in that range, you get 45 damage to the head. It's a six shot to kill if you hit all headshots at a 333 millisecond time to kill. Now that's a really good. However, it's probably unlikely you're gonna hit all headshots all the time. So it's more likely we can rely on the chest and stomach where you're gonna get 33 damage. And that's gonna be an eight shot to kill at the chest and nine shot to kill with 30 to the stomach. And each of those 467 millisecond time to kill and a 533 millisecond time to kill. Now for the AUG, it's a little bit different because its first damage range and pretty much the only one that really matters is zero to 80 meters, a 72 damage per bullet to the head. And that's gonna be a t time to kill of 388 milliseconds, four bullets to take somebody down. So two bursts, two bursts of the head. If you were managed to hit four of those bullets out of six, you're gonna take somebody down in two bursts, easy. Now with the chest and stomach, these are actually identical at 40. So you're gonna get a seven shot to kill at a 776 millisecond time to kill. So either way, you're gonna be looking at either a two, you know, two burst if you get all headshots or a three burst if you get all chest and stomach shots. Another crazy thing about it too, is that if you manage to hit five body shots in one headshot, you're gonna, you're absolutely taking them out. They're also gonna go down. So this gun is just extremely overpowered and it doesn't have the craziest fire rate. So you think, you know, the time between bursts isn't you know, super helpful. However, I'm gonna tell you right now, you're gonna be able to just absolutely dismantle people. Especially if you're hitting headshots, if you're hitting body, if you've managed to hit one headshot in two bursts, you should be able to take somebody out. The only chance you're not is if you're actually missing any shots. So in today's video, especially, we're gonna, like I said, go over the best class setup or loadout. And with that loadout, we're gonna be talking about a specific barrel. And with that barrel, it's gonna increase our fire rate by 8% or basically 9%, as well as our bullet velocity by 44%. And these are drastic. So for the fire rate being increased, we're gonna be able to decrease our time to kill per AUG and it's gonna go down by quite a bit. So instead of having a 464 fire rate, we're looking at that 508, and it's gonna take us from a 388 if all headshots are hit to a 354 for our milliseconds to time to kill. And for our body and shots, chest and stomach, and we're gonna go from a 776 to a 709. So it's really impactful for those body shots as well, and it's gonna help you obviously take people out quicker. And then on top of that, you're gonna have a better bullet velocity, which means your, your bullets are gonna hit targets quicker, you know, the closer you get to a thousand, the better you are. And at 885, you're going to be looking really, really good. This weapon dominates. Obviously, it's a little bit troublesome at range because it's hard to hit all of those shots on your bursts. But I think overall, it's definitely something you can rely on in pretty decent range. If you, you know, have a good shot, you can take people out at range too. It does have a good, you know, uh, damage range profile. And then beyond 80 meters, I think it's pretty similar as well. I don't really know the drop offs. I'd, I'd have to look into that data, but I'm not sure if we actually have that available to us yet. True game data, J God, there's you know some good people out there that are collecting data for us, but it takes some time to get that. So let's go ahead and jump into the loadout that we're using in today's video that you guys are absolutely not going to want to miss out on. And it absolutely shreds. So let's jump right into it. Alrighty, so for our AUG class setup here, or loadout, I should say, for the muzzle, we have the agency silencer. It's going to help us with sound suppression, of course, vertical recoil control, which is important because we want to be accurate. we got increased bullet velocity. Now, that bullet velocity increase we were talking about before is only for the barrel. I don't exactly know what the agency silencer adds on top of that, but you can overall see that it's just going to make it even better than it already is with the barrel. And then alongside that, we have an increase to our effective damage range. Now, the damage range is already phenomenal, so I don't know how much that's going to make a, you know, a huge difference, but bullet velocity, vertical recoil control, that definitely helps. For the barrel, we have the 18.2 inch strike team. Now this is huge. It also is gonna help increase our fire rate, like I said, by 9%. And it also actually increases our bullet velocity by 44%, which it does not say. 
that is important in choosing this because you're going to obviously think, oh, why wouldn't I want to use something else? This is going to be the one to go to. Some people want the titanium. Titanium is not going to be helping you with that bullet velocity like the strike team is. So make sure you guys absolutely choose this. Now for the optic, I'm running the axial arms three times. I think the three times works great. If you guys would prefer any other site, you're welcome to choose any site you want. It's all about comfortability. It's all about making it work the best for you. For the ammunition, I like the 45 round speed mag. It doesn't have too many negatives. It allows you to re reload a little bit quicker and you have plenty of ammunition to take out a couple of people. For the last attachment and a very good one as well is the field agent foregrip, allowing us to control our vertical recoil a little bit better as alongside our horizontal, making us again, more accurate. Accuracy is key. Hitting all three bullets of those bursts is gonna make this thing as powerful as it, I'm advertising it as. So you guys aren't gonna wanna miss any shots. Essentially, this is an overpowered class setup that you're definitely not going to want to miss out while it still exists. It's definitely getting a nerf in the future. And just, yeah, wow. Just go out there, give it a shot for yourself. I can't say this enough. All right, so now you guys know a little bit more about how this compares to the FFAR, which we already know dominates out there in the war zone. I would consider the AUG obviously a part of the meta. The FFAR is definitely part of the meta as well. And lucky enough, you can probably pair the AUG and the FFAR up pretty well. You know, the FFAR does really well in close quarters engagements. The AUG does better at medium to long range engagements, and in, obviously in some cases it's close quarters as well. Overall, these would dominate together, and I think you guys would have a great loadout overall. So definitely go out there, put this loadout together with the AUG, maybe run that FFAR best loadout as well, and you guys will have one dominant loadout out there in the war zone. You guys will probably be able to do some of the best damage you've ever done, some of the most kills you've ever done. You know, you'll have to go out there and try it. However, that's going to wrap things up for us here. I'm going to leave you guys to the rest of the gameplay. Overall, again, I think they're going to have to address this weapon. It's a little bit too powerful. It definitely needs a nerf in the future. We need to go back to having a little bit of variety. Broken weapons aren't good. Balanced weapons definitely are. I'm looking forward to see how they change this in the future. But that's going to wrap things up for us here. Like I said, hopefully you guys all enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you guys found something about it helpful. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video. All the support on the channel. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. You got it, you got it. Nope. Damn it, I'm like a millisecond too slow. Wow. I just saw one go down. He's in the building. No way. He hit me with a rocket. This dude's hitting. Oh my god. Two of his teammates are down. Stupid fucking rocket, bro. I was about to kill all three of them. I would have been had a 16 kill already. He's back up inside there to your right.